My name is Jeannie Johnson. I am the Energy Solutions Manager for Asbury Communities and I have been with Sodexo for two and a half years. I previously was with a corporate services client. My name is Glenn Witzel. I'm the Director of Operations and Maintenance for Asbury Methodist Village, who is a flagship client of the Sodexo Corporation. I've been with Sodexo now since October of 2016. My name is Matt Reddington. I'm the district manager for the Asbury system, and I've been with Sodexo for a little over 20 years. I would say the thing that makes me most proud about working at Sodexo, or during the time that I've worked for Sodexo, is the ability for people that have worked with or for me to advance their careers. I mean, to learn and take advantage of different opportunities and learn new things, new business lines, etc. For myself, I started in dining services and worked in dining services for several years and over time have gotten the opportunity to manage facilities, housekeeping, laundry, now working with the energy management team and uh, the fleet management group. The energy team offers a variety of services for our clients, everything from utility expense management to energy procurement, benchmarking and energy audits, as well as energy project management, um, smart building technologies. Generally, we aim to reduce our clients' energy consumption through increasing their operating efficiencies and to meet our clients' goals um, to save both on um, the spend as well as their consumption. The Asbury and Sodexo relationship began in 2008 um, and at that point we were serving the, the Asbury system with dining services, housekeeping, laundry, and facilities. Over time, as we stabilized the, those components of their operation, we started looking for other opportunities and quickly identified the fleet management program as an opportunity to help improve the visibility and marketability of the Asbury system by branding all of their vehicles, making sure all of their vehicles were in good working condition, showed well to the, to the outside community, as well as provided a comfortable atmosphere for our residents. Um, shortly thereafter, we were approached by the Energy Group with the new program that they were rolling out for energy management services. We presented that to Asbury and came up with an overall proposal that stabilized their energy expense for a five-year period. That stabilized uh, amount was still, still provided a savings to the Asbury communities over that period of time on an annual basis exceeding $300,000 per year. At Asbury, we have an all-encompassing approach with their energy program. Um, we really are striving to meet our clients' goals to reduce their spend in terms of utility consumption, um, as well as increasing their energy efficiency. So in this sense, we offer everything from utility expense management, UEM services. We also have completed energy audits for the variety of campuses. Uh, we offer energy project management, as well as resident awareness programs surrounding sustainability and energy efficiency. So for me at the operations level, what that means is that Sodexo goes out and basically negotiates the dollars that we will spend over the course of a fiscal year on our water, sewer, uh, electrical, and fuel usage and then monitors that and brings that information back to us to show us if there's places that we can improve on reducing our usage of, of whatever commodity that we're going through. And also it shows a, a continued path of improvement to the client to show that there is value in having us here and having us manage that portion of their business. And it's something that kind of takes it off of their plate, puts them a little bit more at ease, and also helps us to look at ways that we can improve upon that, whether it be through LED lighting conversions, whether it's through new mechanical systems, whether it's through uh, 
the use of different water savings. There's a multitude of different things that come, come out of that, but that's where the core of it is for me. Uh, we offer everything from utility expense management, so I spend a lot of time looking at the utility bills, understanding how they're coming in in terms of both consumption and spend, and how that's impacting our overall goals for the year. We also pull this data together in a quarterly report, which is presented both to the client as well as our on-site staff. This helps everyone understand what's going on in terms of their energy consumption, as well as bringing everybody on the same page. Additionally, a lot of my work surrounds energy project management. Everything from investigating new opportunities to presenting this to the client and working with the on-site staff to implement these new technologies. At Asbury, we started with a lot of the low-hanging fruit. This included LED lighting, as well as improving the efficiency of the water fixtures throughout the campuses. We've also investigated low-flow irrigation and metering of the irrigation systems. Um, new technologies that we're investigating on site surround smart building technology. So we're looking into areas that we can improve the building automation system and incorporate energy management as well as green cleaning, um, which would improve the efficiency and reduce the cost of our housekeeping team. And lastly, we've looked into um, UVC lighting for some of the mechanical rooms. I think one of the strangest requests that I've received though was trying to come up with a way to make entering and exiting a building safer. And that doesn't sound like much, but when you have doors with a swing radius and people that are not always able to move in a quick fashion, uh, we have issues with doors trying to close on people before they can get out of the range. The safest way to go about it is to put in sliding doors, but not every building is uh, capable of handling that. So we are working with manufacturers to come up with different ways of safeguarding a door closing on someone. And that's just one example. We have many, many others uh, going from operational improvements to streamlining our construction process for turning over rooms and renovations. Everything under the sun falls to us. A solution I recently worked on with Asbury at the Spring Hill community was to switch their waste management vendor and take a deeper dive into their waste management system as a whole. We looked at the vendor and understood what services they were offering and found other people that could provide similar services at a reduced cost and also improve uh, the relationship that we had on site as well as improve the communication of the waste management program to the residents and our staff. We really are looking for ways that we can improve the sustainability and increase the amount of waste that we divert from the landfill. This was a really good push and had a lot of positive feedback, both from our building operators as well as the residents on site. I think one of the most important and best practices utilized in Sodexo are the three checks for safety. Do you know how to do the job? Do you have the right equipment? And is your environment safe? This touches all departments and all employees of Sodexo, whether you're a building operator, food services, janitorial, and even myself. I think the future for FM as it relates to energy management services is it basically acts as a doorway and it opens up opportunities for our other uh, for other services that we may offer through Sodexo, whether it be construction services, construction management, asset management, etc. Because the energy management program identifies where there's opportunities. Uh, opportunities from savings, from in aging infrastructure, that then turns into ways that we can help our clients be more successful, operate more efficiently as they move in their journey to become financially sound.